teachers have rendered. What's the weirdest thing a student answered to tell me a fun fact about yourself? I had a student tell me that sometimes his dad got drunk and asked his mom for things as I was starting to tell him he didn't need to elaborate any further. He continued with like soup. And he yells it like so up it took every bit of restraint to not laugh. It's been years and years since that happened. But I still laugh when I think about it. Not a teacher but this happened. When I was 17 at school camp during a bonding exercise. Teacher tell us two truths. And one lie about yourself. And we have to guess the lie. Weird kid I play PlayStation. I like Doritos. And I'm an alcoholic. The teacher the lies you are an alcoholic. Weird kid got you. I plays Bard. My god the look on the teacher's face. In my public speaking class at a community college we had to get up and do a speech about our experience that really changed our lives or an important memory and how it made us who we are. On the first day a guy who was a veteran volunteered to go first. He proceeded to talk about the day he was captured and sexually assaulted by enemy soldier and how he now goes around and helps other soldiers with the wounded warrior project. It was difficult for anybody to follow that. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. I teach middle school. This one still takes the cake. That is mom and dad have the same parents. I asked him to clarify, because I didn't understand what he was saying, and he said I only have one set of grandparents. They had the same parents I quickly moved to the next student so no one else would realize. That this kid just told the class that his parents were siblings. I talked to him about it the next day in private, and he said that he got it mixed up. His parents don't have the exact same parents. They shared a dad. I felt so much better when the mom called me to let me know her elderly stepfather married her husband's elderly mother. Still weird, but much better. My arm is duck and you're in the deepest southern drawl and proceeded to wildly swing his ducked up arm around. He was 12. Had Herb's palsy, and also got detention that day. He might be one of my fat students. Opposite side of the classroom. But on day one of class our professor spent most of the time talking about himself, his mental health, and how he was friendly with students. While he didn't say anything specifically creepy, the more he talked, the more put off I was. It just seemed deeper than a get, to know you as the first time I'm meeting you speech should have gone. It was an intro to research class and I already had research experience, so I got permission to waive it, and I dropped the class. Not a teacher, but I just did a first aid course. During introduction. Say your name, and one fact about yourself. Jude says proudly he once had over 300k of unpaid parking tickets. A student. Not a teacher. But once we were going around a circle during percussion camp in the front ensemble and my teacher goes hello everyone. My name is, and I have shit my pants as an adult. Definitely one of the weirder ones I've heard. I said my dad steal cars. It was something my parents always told us growing up as a joke. The teacher just laughed and said that's nice. Students told me that there is a chapter dedicated to him in a dental surgery textbook because of a very rare disorder that he had as a child. I may still have that essay. During French class, a guy...
I'm not a teacher, but this guy in my class, named Shane has this medical condition that causes him to grow tons of hair at an early age. Full beard in middle school. He would say I'm Shane, and I'm very hairy. A student once told my wife that her daddy had a special device that he had to blow into to start his truck. We did one of those two truths one lie bits. Girl stands up and says, I've never been out of the country. I'm a twit. I love playing sport. I knew this girl beforehand and knew she didn't have a twin. So pick that one. Nope. She had a conjoined twin that died in utero and had to be surgically removed and she's now missing the last vertebrae on her spine. Showed us the scar and everything. Apparently the lie was the first one as she'd been to Mexico. Not me but my brother. He told the teacher last night my family ate viva for dinner. I was much older and had left home by then. The class laughed. The teacher accused him of lying. The principal was brought into this and my mother had to go in for a meeting. She chewed them up one side and down the other because we had a cousin who was a trapper, and he had sent a batch of beaver thighs for the family to enjoy. Also, my brother was telling the truth. He told me later, that he did say that for the effect disrupting the class. That he has been to juvie multiple times, and is currently on probation. Then he pulled up his pants enough, that everyone could see his ankle monitor. That was, something. My friend is really quiet, he doesn't really talk unless talk to him. He's really cool though, and has some things he enjoys doing. Literally second year I knew him the teacher asked this, and he said he's a professional bowler with a 300 bet. And I was like why haven't you told me this that's amazing. I guess it just never came up. Haha. <laughs> knew him for a whole year, and never knew that. When I was in my first year at university my law and society professor made each student get up say his her name and tell why they picked law school well a guy got up said his name and the professor interrupted him by asking a knock are you related to a the guy yes professor he is my grandfather then the professor got excited and started talking about what great of a guy x is and that he haven't heard of him in years then the professor asked how he was and on replied he is dead sir the whole class was trying to hold the laughter it pretty much broke the class that first day. A guy in my class introduced himself by telling he wanted to study philosophy because one day he was really high peeing in the street and he saw a couple of people working and he wondered what they were doing. So he realized his passion was wandering. He dropped out like two months later. I've had my hand up a sheep's bum shock me slightly. Child of a farming family. Helping with lambing season. I was in one of the first small required classes for my teaching degree and everyone in the class was studying to teach. It was day two or three and we were doing a get to know you activity where we share something about ourself. I don't remember the exact question but it had something to do with what you regret take back. A guy came in late when almost everyone has answers the question and a professor asked him the questions and he thought for a moment and said I regret letting my friend talking me into dropping acid. The class was silent for a good 20 seconds until the professor said maybe next time we only share things that are legal. I hadn't seen him in any other teacher classes since. Still laugh about it to this day. I have two thumbs on this hand. I'm raising cockroaches in my closet to sell to the reptile shop. Not a teacher, but the daughter of one. My dad had a student tell him during the fun fact question in detail about how his goldfishes died that morning, and how he experimented on their corpses. He had pictures on his phone of the skin off, and the intact skeleton next to it. He is a successful taxidermist now, so silver linings I guess. My first year, as an earnest and ideological teacher in a very rough underserved area, I got all the students in a circle on the first day, to talk about what we'd done that summer. I pointed to a student who'd been engaged with me before class and said, what did you do this summer, that could inspire us? His answer righted the last two months of a sentence for stealing a car. I hadn't expected that. So I pointed to another student and said, okay, that's great. Let's talk about what you did this summer. That student said, 
Yes. I had such a good summer. I went to camper. Laughing land stop life. I did the last two months of a sentence with that guy, cause I stole that car with him. I know a lot about medieval torture equipment. young woman busted out the c word see you next tuesday i hadn't had any trouble with her whatsoever so i was a bit shocked the whole class went dead silent i told her she couldn't use that word in class and she was confused as to which word i was referring to finally i said the c word 